Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Level Up, where we help you build and grow your dream practice and live your dream lifestyle. We're Kate and Katie with a private practice startup. And today's question comes from Jessica Wallace. And Jessica asks us, what other advertising resources are there other than psychology today? Excellent question. Yes. And before we dive into your question, Jessica, we just want to say thank you so much to Therapy Notes for being a huge support of Startup Nation and for sponsoring this series. If you're in need of an amazing EHR, check them out and you can get their first, your first two months for free at therapynotes.com. Great question. And so Jessica, every time we answer this question, we really start off with the non-negotiables. And, you know, this is where therapists um, struggle the most because most often when we get into building our own practice, we know we need clients because we know we need clients and our business won't survive. So what do we do? We jump to strategy without really having a clear marketing foundation. The marketing foundation does take time. It does take work. But once you have a clear marketing foundation, it's going to be easy to build upon. So you might've already done this. And if you did great, Great. Um, we're going to talk about strategy as well. But for those of you who are listening who haven't done this yet, this is key and super essential. So you need to know who your ideal client is. You need to understand their pains, their desires, their goals, the results that they want. And then we need to take that and the marketing messages and put it on a website. So having a a clear, attractive, um, magnetically engaging website is essential because I want you to think about no matter where you're getting your clients from, they're most often always going to arrive back to your website before they reach out to you. It's very rare that even if we get a word of mouth referral, that we're not going to go to someone's website to check them out. So that's why it's so important because then your website can almost become your sales page and begin to show who you are, how you work with people before they ever call you. So this is a non-negotiable area before we even talk about strategy. Absolutely. And if you think about putting yourself in the shoes of the consumer who's looking for services, and maybe you have been in that position where you've been looking for your own therapist, you're going to look at websites, you're going to look at reviews, you're going to read. And even if there is that word of mouth, personal recommendation, people want to do their own research. They want to make an informed decision and make sure that they're working with a person who is going to be the best possible fit to help them reach their goals. And Katie mentioned non-negotiables. Definitely website is a non-negotiable for sure. We also want you to think about your strengths and your natural talents when it comes to marketing. Because if you're not someone who loves networking, you don't have to go and do these giant networking events. You don't have to do that. And if you're someone who, is, uh, who loves to network, awesome. But maybe you like to do it more one-on-one -on -one and you want to meet people for coffee and really build relationships or maybe you're more of an introvert and you love the online stuff because it just feels more in your wheelhouse or maybe you're really techie. And so whatever your strengths and natural talents are, you want to make sure that you're picking marketing strategies that are in alignment with that so that it's not exhausting and draining and something that you dread it becomes something that you actually enjoy. And you also want to think about the types of strategies that your ideal clients are going to resonate with. So it's kind of twofold. You think about it in terms of yourself and then what's going to really match well with your ideal clients. And having some really solid online marketing strategies is very important. Like Katie mentioned, the website and having really good search engine optimization done SEO on your website so that it starts to rank organically. And then if you have a really awesome website that speaks to your ideal clients, you can start putting a Google ad budget behind that. But we definitely recommend working with a specialist who understands Google ads because it is a very complex world and lots to learn and lots of money to lose if you don't know what you're doing. So that is, uh, that is a great marketing strategy that can work pretty effectively to build your practice quickly. Also, if you want to do, if you're someone who wants to do networking and relationship building, that's fantastic. You want to think about who your ideal clients will be going to and asking for recommendations. Will they be talking to their primary care physician? Will they be talking to the school counselor? Or um, will they be talking to their gynecologist? Will they be talking to uh, someone else in their life? Maybe their divorce attorney. So think about those referral sources and how you can start to develop a relationship with those potential referral sources that is a mutually beneficial relationship for both sides. 
Yeah. So the other thing too, I, I would want to say, Jessica, is, you know, marketing is a long-term game. Like it, and also yeah. too, I think sometimes a lot of therapists get really frustrated is like they try a marketing strategy. They try a few things with their friends and family or other colleagues had shared with them and they try it. And then they're like, that didn't work. And they jump to the next thing. Why do we know this? Because we've done all the mistakes as well. And so it's really important to really understand the strategy. Like you mentioned psychology today um, for therapists watching, like, have you really taken the time to understand how psychology today actually um, will work for you and your ideal client. I know Kate had mentioned this earlier as in the video, I have had to look for a therapist for a family member out of state. And I can't tell you how frustrating it actually was to go to psychology today and in review, attempting to review quickly, looking for a specialist in a certain area and not being able to find them because therapists don't always know exactly how to write their psychology today profile. So it's really important that you kind of utilize the strategy, understand all the nuts and bolts, know that SEO is a long-term game. Google ads is much quicker. Networking is a long-term game. It's about relationship building. So for quick stuff, like Kate was mentioning Google ads, um, but for more of that long-term game, you need, maybe you present, maybe you train, maybe you have a podcast. Those are all also marketing strategies, but really understanding exactly how they work, what your needs are and what your strengths are in regards to advertising. So we hope that this was helpful. Um, Kate, any last final words on this topic? I was just going to add that you don't have to do all the things. And so many people are like, you got to do this. 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 You don't have to do all the things. You can be very intentional and very strategic with your marketing strategy. And if you want additional help and you want, really want to do a deep dive into setting up your business with, business with a solid foundation and marketing strategy that is going to work for you and your ideal clients, definitely check out our private practice marketing e-course and coaching program. We've got a self-study program and a coaching option as well. And we will add that link in the resources section. So we're here cheering you guys on every step along the way. And in the meantime, between now and the next video, you guys got this. You guys this. got this. Take care, everybody.